10, the Shawano County Sheriff's Department is searching for the person who not only hit and killed the local family's kangaroo, but also rolled over the foot of the man who tried to save the pet. Local 5's Robin Oginye talked to the family about their loss and why they hope this driver is found, and she joins us live now from the studio with the details. Robin. Tom, Aaron, the Mondas family reported their beloved Lulu, the kangaroo, went missing Sunday. A friend and neighbor spotted Lulu still alive around 7.30 last night. But when he tried to stop the oncoming car, that car hit him in the shoulder and then struck Lulu. You can say the Mondas family has their own miniature zoo or a furry family of 75. Put your ears up. Don't be scared. But now a member of that family is gone. I talked to her right before we went out and I says, Lulu and Olaf, that's the other one's name. I said, you're, this is you're going to be your last trip outside for the summer because it's getting too cold and you can't go outside no more. Lulu was a baby but was still able to escape the four foot enclosure she was in. This is where they the Mondeses say proper so confines is what allows them to have an exotic animal license from the USDA. Never had in a million years what I had thought she would have jumped that. Of course, some kangaroos, big kangaroos can, but being a baby and having her live in the house, she has never challenged heights. She has never jumped on a chair, on my lap, on the bed, anything like that. She was not a jumper. That was Sunday, but neighbors spotted Lulu alongside the road Tuesday night. He pulled over and flashed his lights as he saw Lulu running toward him, but he couldn't get the oncoming truck to slow down. It is heart-wrenching and heartbreaking and it hurts my heart that my baby that I raised forever is gone. But at the same time, I am only too thankful that these two people who really tried to help um, could have been hurt severely. Usually you warm my bottle. That's a cold bottle. For now, Olaf is missing his best friend, which the family might replace. You know, she keeps wondering, am I going to get another one? Am I not going to get another one? Yeah, we'll get another one. But if anything good comes from Lulu's loss, it's this advice. Pay attention and slow down. This is not the community to step on your gas and see how fast your truck goes. The vehicle that hit Lulu is described as a light-colored truck driven by a woman. If you have any information about what happened, you're asked to contact the Shano Sheriff's Office. In the studio, Robin Oginye, Local 5 News.